In the last video I showed you how to do a couple of basic changes, the difference between privilege exec mode and user exec mode in a Cisco router. This time we're going to take it one little step further and we're going to have a look at configuration mode. So here we have our router that's been cut down so you've only got access to the CLI. I'll double click on that and open it. I hit enter, hit enter and it brings me up to the user exec mode prompt. We know this because it's using a greater than symbol. I want to enable so I can hop into the next mode which is privilege exec mode. If I hit question mark I have all these commands here that I can use. In order to make any changes to a router I must be in configuration mode and to get into configuration mode I first of all write configure oop, configure I'll put question mark and I only have one choice here and it's configure terminal enter and I'm in if I want to get out of this mode I hit control C and guess what I'm back here again back to the original prompt if I want to apply the same command again this is a shortcut for you I can use the up arrow on the keyboard and the command that you last used comes up hit enter I'm in up arrow again there's nothing type in exit exit will take me back to the previous prompt I'll use the config terminal again this time control C and I'm back to the previous prompt another way of writing config T or configuration terminal is the shorthand version because it's predictive text it'll read the unique characters of each word and give you access to them so if I type in CONF space T and I hit enter note how it's given me the command because unique to each of those two commands is CONF starts config there is no other command that starts with CONF NF in that particular prompt and T is the only alternative terminal done and just to show you what's available here if I hit the question mark now instead of two pages of commands I've got just over two pages of commands with different types of configurations